What's up? Should we continue? I think we should. We're feeling good? We're looking good? If you feel good, you look good. It never fails. Now, when you look good, a lot of people look good. Everybody looks good to me, right? Some people just had a shitty attitude, that's it. Everybody looks good. Everybody's beautiful, pretty, handsome in their own unique way. Now, having a shitty attitude, that doesn't help. No, 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 that doesn't help at all. But when you feel good, yeah, you look good. You look good. You didn't come here to look good, okay? You came here to feel good. You will never be perfect, but you can always be real, right? You will never be perfect. Never. It will never happen. So stop trying to be perfect. I'm perfect. You're not. You never be perfect, but you can always be real. So if you, if you start faking that you're perfect, pretending that you're perfect, what happened to your realness? You were supposed to be, you were supposed to be keeping it real. I don't even know what I'm doing over here. That thing turned on by itself again. I think they're watching me. I'm scared. Ah! Well, hold on a second. No, for real. It caught me by surprise, but you know. I kind of look good over there. You see, in order for me to look good over there, I need to look good over here first. I cannot look good over there without looking good over here first, right? Because it comes from within. That is my reflection. What you're seeing is what's taking place inside of me. You know what I mean? You're just seeing, this is, what, this is how I'm feeling inside. Uh-huh. You weren't expecting, what? You were not expecting this, me either. But this is life, unexpected. You gotta be unexpected. When you're unexpected, like the wind. Have you ever seen the wind? Nobody sees you come. No, nobody sees you come, baby. But everybody feels you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They don't see you, but they feel you. You see, when words come from the heart, when words come from the heart, you feel it. You don't need to understand the meaning. So do me a favor, do me a favor, my friend. Stop questioning what I'm saying and start feeling what I'm feeling. Because life is a feeling and you're the feeling machine because everything comes from within. <laughs> All right, so. Class is about to start, right? Yeah. Class is about to start in, I don't know, whenever the teacher get, get, get his shit together. Uh-huh. You gotta keep it real. Gotta keep it real. You see, by me keeping it real with you, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real with myself. I don't, I, don't, I don't know you. I don't know you. You know? When was the last time you called me? I don't know you. I, I know somebody that was over there. I, don't, I hope. I hope I'm not talking to myself. Well, I am, but you know what I'm saying. Full moon in Leo tonight, baby. What do you expect? Hold on a second. Let me get my shit together. Because this is going to be fun. It already is fun. Like I said, I, I, I was not expecting this. I wasn't ready. We're almost there. Not what I'm looking for, but you know, oh, I got it now, okay. All right, so. so over here, over here. This here, over here, over here. You blow a pen and paper? Okay, yeah, you're gonna need it. Cause we gotta talk. Gotta talk about some serious stuff, man. This is serious. You think it's funny? Because it is. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the, the name of the, the title of the video, I, I wrote it down somewhere. You see, let me tell you something. <laughs> As you can see already, the energy is moving too fast, right? Too fast. So fast that I can't even, I can't even, you know what I mean? I can't even say what I want to say because 
every time I want every time I want to say something, something else happened. Does that make sense? It does, right? Because the only constant in life is change. Everything is constantly changing, right? Time, time changes not, but all things change in time. For time is the force that keeps events separate, each in its own proper space. Time is not in motion. Time is not moving. Time is not in motion. Time is a four dimensional, four dimensional what? Time is, not what you, time is not what you think it is. Time is not in motion. <laughs> but ye move through time as your consciousness move from one event to another. Time is not moving. You are moving. Time, in, time in is not moving. We are moving, right? We are changing. That's the only constant in life, change. There is no time. There is only movement, right? And if you stop, you get stuck because you stop moving. You see? If you have a, imagine a, a fountain, right? You know the water's running. Now, if you put the same amount of water in a tank without movement, without movement, what's gonna happen to that water in two days? It's not gonna be good, why? Because there is no movement in the water, right? Now, you might be asking yourself, what does this fountain have to do, has to do with me? You are made of water, right? You are mostly water. You are a water being living in a water planet, all right? So you gotta be moving because if you don't move, your water gets stuck. And what happened to the water when it doesn't move? You already know that. Like I said, the energy is moving too fast, too fast to me, for me. So every time I wanna say something, something has happened. So I'm having, you know, some, <laughs> how, how, how would you call that? Technical issues. There's some technical issues in, in the building. But you gotta go with it. You gotta go with the flow, right? Every day is unique. Every day is a gift. The greatest gift you can receive is another day of life. Every day is a gift and every second is unique. Why? Because everything is constantly changing, right? So if everything is constantly changing, Everything is constantly new, exactly. Everything is constantly regenerating, especially you, especially the cells in your body. You are not the same person you were yesterday. You're not, because your cells are constantly regenerating your cells. You're changing from within. That's the only way that change could happen. You know what I mean? You see, I find it funny that a lot of people, they want, they, they vote for the, for the politician, they vote because they want to see a change but they don't want to change themselves. Okay, all right, okay. So if you're waiting for the next politician that's gonna be elected to come and change your life, let me just tell you right now, it's never gonna happen, my friend. When was the last time that one of them knocked on your door or created a video like this just for you, as real as this, as real as it gets? It is what it is, what do you want me to say? When was the last time one of them gave you something productive? Come on, man. At one point in time, you gotta ask yourself, well, hold on a second, what are these people giving me? Nothing. But everybody's doing it. Exactly. There you go again. There you go again. They've been lying to you since day one, right? What makes you think that they're gonna tell you the truth right now? Uh, okay, we're gonna have to wait for this because it's too windy right here. And like I said, we're improvising big time. So, let's get back to business, huh? The title of the video. Oh, Pluto. Let's talk about Pluto today, huh? Pluto in Aquarius is, is no joke, <laughs> but it's funny. Full moon in Leo tonight, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. This video, I was supposed to create this video or make this video like five days ago. But like I mentioned earlier, uh, the energy is moving too fast. So every time I want to do something, I'm doing something else. You know what I'm saying? Just right now, I was going somewhere and then I saw a bus and I got in the bus and I'm here. I wasn't coming here. <laughs> I... 
But you gotta move with the flow. You gotta go with the flow. You gotta roll with the tie. You can go against it. Alright? You can manipulate the universe. Now you can blend with it. That's a different story. So, what we're gonna do right now, I wrote I wrote some things down. Alright? This was supposed to you were supposed to be seeing this on the 20th. Oh hey, today's the 25th. <laughs> it's five days after. That's it. Alright? It's better to be late than never. Think about it. Think about it. It's better late than never. So here we go. What we're gonna do right now, that sounds like a song. It's go back. It is a song. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So, um, I'm going to tell you a bunch of things that I wrote down, right? And and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a few things that I wrote that I wrote down about Pluto in Aquarius, right? And and then you go from there, okay? So here we go. Uh, Pluto in Aquarius, okay? Okay, let's let's start talking about Pluto. Okay, Pluto is the ninth planet in our solar system, right? Is the the one that's over there? You know where? Yeah. Uh, okay. And Pluto is a transpersonal generational channel, and this means that their influence, Pluto's influence, is in a large scale. Okay, long term. And it, and it directly hits the masses, okay? Because Pluto has the largest orbit in the solar system. It takes Pluto 248 years to go around the sun, right? So, Pluto moving to Aquarius on the 20th, five days ago. We're a little behind. And uh, I don't know if you feel it. I feel it, right? Do you feel any anything different in the atmosphere? It feels good, okay? So Pluto moving to Aquarius. And Pluto is all about truth, power, metamorphosis, evolution, trans transmutation. That is the Plutonian way. That is the energy of this planet, okay? Now, if you think that what happens up there has nothing to do with you, the last time it rained, you got wet, right? Oh, okay. So it has something to do with you. If it rains, it affects you, right? I'm sure. Okay. So what makes you think that a planet is not connected? Everything is interconnected. Let's just get out of the way, okay? Everything is interconnected, and you are experiencing life inside of a living planet that is orbiting a solar system that is pursing through the galaxy. Our sun is traveling through the galaxy with all the planets around. Okay, that's what's taking place. That, that's the big picture. That's a big big that's that's a big picture. That's what's taking place in the galaxy. The sun is traveling through the galaxy with all the planets around, and we happen to be inside of one of those planets. And we're aware of it. Ain't that something? No. Everything is constantly changing, everything is constantly moving, right? Imagine the planets like 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 friends that you know. Is it the same to hang out with one friend and to another? No, it's totally different because everybody is different, right? Everybody is different. So, Pluto in Aquarius. That is the, the highlight of the of, of the month, okay? <laughs> Pluto in Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Let's talk about Aquarius because Aquarius have a rebellion nature, okay? This is the enemy of Aquarius. And Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, okay, which is the planet that rules Aquarius, okay? So Aquarians, Aquarians have a rebellion nature, eccentric, spontaneous, 
and are original, okay? Intuitive, imaginative, and inventive. That is the energy that Pluto moved into. Pluto, imagine, imagine you, I'm Pluto, right? If, no, no, imagine this pen is Pluto. And then this moved to Aquarius, okay? So Pluto is the planet of power, transformation, truth, transmutation, right? And now it's hanging out with Aquarius, okay? And Aquarius is spontaneous, eccentric, imaginative, innovative. What is going to happen there? I don't know. Their highest purpose, Aquarius, we're still talking about Aquarius, their higher purpose is found in aligning themselves with advancement of social and humani humanitarian ideas, okay? Pluto is the planet of power, transformation, and evolution. Uranus, which is the planet that rules Aquarius, is the planet of freedom, revolution, and innovation. So we got this guy, right? That is, a, that is all about power. This is, this is the essence, the nature of, of this planet, of Pluto. Power, transformation, and evolution. And it happened to be with this guy right here that is all about freedom, revolution, and innovation. Let me say that again. Power, transformation, and evolution. Freedom, revolution, and innovation. Okay? That's the energy that, that is... That's what's taking place right now. That, that's what is around. Okay? That is what, that, that's what is around. And that's what's going to be around for a minute, okay? Because Pluto, once again, is the planet that marked the generation, okay? A new era has begun. That's what that's what that's what's taking place. A new era has begun because every time Pluto moves into another sign, a new era begins because everything is totally different. Absolutely absolutely everything is. Everything already changed. Now, some people are aware of it, some people are not, but eventually everything will change. If you're watching a game, right? If you're watching the Super Bowl, and let's say your team is losing, right? 14 0. But all of a sudden, they make a good play. They haven't even scored. They make a good play. And now everybody in the team is feeling good. You're losing, but you're feeling good. The energy changed, right? What do you think happened? Now, once the energy changes, the outcome of the game will change. Nine, nine times up. Nine times out of uh, nine out of ten, it happens because it's all about the momentum, right? You're losing the game, but you got the momentum, you got the energy with you, right? And before anything manifests in this physical plane, is energy. So if you score a, if you make a good play, and your and your team feels good, there we go again with the feeling. If your team is feeling good, they're feeling confident. What is this gonna happen? They wanna win the game, but before they won the game, it was energy. Right? They needed the energy first. They needed the momentum. Okay, we're going somewhere. Energy, frequency, and vibration. That's all there is in the universe. Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Energy vibrating at a different frequency. Everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. Okay? Everything is energy. That's all there is to it. So when the energy changes, everything changes because everything is energy first. Okay? Okay. There we go. So, Pluto in Aquarius is going to be for 20 years, okay? 20 years. Pluto is going to be in Aquarius. That's a long time. That's a long time. So, Pluto in Aquarius... It's something, it's not a joke, but it's funny. <laughs> so, uh, expect a lot of things, expect radical dismantling to take place, right? Because these two enemies of Pluto and, and Uranus, they're, all, they're, they're, they're extremely strong alone, imagine, together. So expect a lot of positive changes to take place, but in order... If you want to make your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend a night course dinner, the first thing you got to do is make a mess in the kitchen, right? Before you get that, that dinner ready, you're going to have to make a mess in the kitchen. You're going to have to get, get your hands dirty. You're going to have to make a mess in the kitchen, right? Destruction is part of the construction. Destruction is part of the construction. You made a mess in the kitchen, but 
but hey, you you might get lucky tonight. If 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 you, you know what I mean. Destruction is part of the construction. The thing is that a lot of people see destruction and they freak out, right? Maybe because they're not doing something about it. Stop allowing the world to affect you and start affecting the world. Nothing that is taking place in the world is affecting me because I'm affecting the world, right? I'm pumping love into the world. Nothing, nothing is affecting me at all. Woo! Uranus. Uranus is associated with the coming age of Aquarius, okay? Uranus is the planet that rules Aquarius. And it rules the internet, mental stories, technology, electricity, and astrology. Uranus is motivated by the collective care, humanitarianism, and large scale matters, okay? A lot of things are gonna change globally. It's already taking place, right? It's already taking place. What? What? What has been taking place for the past four years is this is a continuation of that, right? That happened for this to come after, if that makes sense. So Uranus is motivated by the collective care, la, 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 and is associated with rebellion and revolution, scientific breakthroughs, medical advancement, and technological achievements, okay? Now, the same way, check this out. This is very interesting. The Earth, right? This is the Earth. Is the third planet fr from the Sun. Okay, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, and the Earth. Uranus, over here, is the third planet from the galaxy. Okay, we got Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus. So. Both the Earth and Uranus have two. That's why I wrote it down. Uh, what is it? I wrote it down right here. Okay. So they both have two planetary orbits next to them. Two planetary orbits. Because the, the Earth has... Venus and Mercury, and Uranus has Neptune and Pluto. So they both, Uranus and, and the Earth, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a very important energetic connection between the two because they keep the balance of, they keep the balance of the solar system, okay? Uranus, which is the coldest planet on the solar system, and the Earth, this planet, they both keep the balance of the solar system uh-huh it's like that so expect a lot of things to change because everything's constantly changing today is full moon in the sign of leo okay and that is the house of the sun leo is ruled by the sun so expect a lot of joy and excitement the energy of the sun okay Creativity, new ideas to resurface to the surface. Okay, I love you, Pluto in Scorpio. Pluto in Scorpio. No. <laughs> the hell is going on? You gotta keep it real. How many mistakes did I make so far? Like 300? Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with that because there is no wisdom without mistakes, right? I'm not afraid to make mistakes. Because there is no wisdom without mistakes. The only mistake you will make is the one you don't take. It's a mistake. Mistake. Do it your way and do it anyway. Right? I love you. Stay free. Stay chosen. Keep doing your thing. Because if, you, if you've been doing it right, your future is bright. If you've been doing it wrong, what's going on? It's never too late to do something great, baby. Do it today. But do it your way. Peace.